Yannick Sinner versus Daniel Medvedev is the first quarterfinal for the Shanghai Masters for 2024. Both guys have been impressive to get to this stage. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number five seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Vilch, and after a couple of close sets, we'd get through in straights. 7-5, seven, 7-5. Five, seven, five. In the third round, he'd take on the 29th seed, Anaudi, and this was a battle. After dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 5-7, 6-4, 6-4. In the fourth round, he'd take on his arch nemesis, the number 10 seed, Pass, who he'd played a lot of times before and had a lot of moments against. And after a close first set, Medvedev would get through in straights. 7663 to advance to the quarterfinals. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Daniel, but this was no problem getting through in straights. 6164. In the third round, he'd take on Echeverry, the number 31 seed. And this was tough. After losing the first set, Sinner would fight back to win. 676462. In the fourth round, he'd take on Shelton, the 14th seed, a man that had beaten him in Shanghai this time last year in the same round. And this was close. Both guys holding serve for the majority of the match, but Sinner getting through in straights. 6476 to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played 13 times with the head-to-head -head split down the middle. 7-6 in favor of Medvedev. However, over the last couple of months or over the last 12 months, it's been 6-1 in favor of Sinner. Medvedev only winning that match at Wimbledon in their last seven meetings. So even though it does say it's down the middle in recent times, especially over the last 12 months, it's all been Sinner when these guys have played. If Medvedev is going to win this one, he needs to play solid like he did against Elkris last week, but he needs to be a little bit more aggressive, I'd say, against Sinner because obviously we know that Elkris has that variety that uh, Sinner doesn't necessarily have as much. So he needs to be a bit more aggressive if he's going to do anything and also serve well. Of course, the serve is massive. When he's playing these guys, they know how to beat him. Sinner's going to win this one. He needs to get off to a good start. He needs to play better than he did against Shelton. He got a little lucky against Shelton. He faced a lot of break points, but of course, Shelton's returns are not as solid as he serves. So the returning of Shelton wasn't really a factor. Medvedev's a great returner, so he's going to take the opportunities that Shelton didn't take if Sinner gives them to him. So Sinner's got to serve well and not give away too many break points and also clean up those errors. Great matchup. Love this matchup. They played a couple of epics this year. Of course, the Australian Open, Wimbledon, both five setters, four setter at the US Open. But I have to go with Sinner in this one in three sets. I just think Sinner right now is just a little bit more confident than Medvedev. Medvedev's been good over the last couple of weeks, but overall this season, it's not been Medi's year for the most part ever since that Australian Open final. So I'm going to go with Sinner in a three setter, but let me know down in the comments below who you got winning this one.